What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we had early access to the Farm Flipper DLC, which was awesome, but we weren't able to play on our original save. And you're probably looking around at this house thinking, 2G, this isn't your original save either. But believe it or not, this is it. This is actually it. So my Steam Cloud has been out of sync since the HGTV DLC. A very, very long time. But we're not going to let that slow us down. Originally, I was a little upset about the whole thing. But honestly, we're going to be buying a new house anyways. So really doesn't matter. We're going to get things going here with the second job today. This one titled, Don't Spare the Horses. Sophia has wanted to own a riding school since she was a child. After turning 13, she started to work as a stable hand, then became a riding instructor, and finally, a stable manager. But it still wasn't enough. Now, she's able to realize her ambition. However, not all goes her way. The contractor she hired took their advance payment and never came back. Sophia won't give up easily, though. Listen, you won't see a dime until the job's done. I know that what happened here is not your fault, but no one will steal from me again. See? This thing here was supposed to be a stable. Over there, I wanted to have a riding hall. Finally, apart from the other horses, two broncos for my sons. Broncos? Because I was too trustful. We're talking we like four broncos? Smaller. Obviously not. She's talking about horses. School. Everything you gotta do is on your list. Now, get to work and don't spare the horses. Of course. As the name of the job is, I guess. Right then. Well, here we are. Let's get after it, shall we? Uh, the chainsaw. New tool. We've had this. We have had this for a very, very long time. If I'm not mistaken, that should have been part of the garden DLC. The garden flipper DLC. But let's head around the property. We'll kind of get a, a lay of the land. It seems like this might actually be... More of a garden flipper sort of inspired job. Okay, but we're not going to be able to go into her into her house. Dude, this place is sick on the inside. Check out them beams. I see you, girl. I see you. Got a nice bedroom in there. Or was that a bedroom? Yeah, there's a bed in there. Okay, I, I saw the, the desk. Kind of kind of missed the bed. Here we have a little office. She's got some gaming monitors in there. She's a gamer, boys. Look out. Got a photo of a giraffe as well. I know I'm just kind of killing time looking at her house, but that's that's the stuff I'm interested in seeing, you know? Let's head back up to the front, because it seemed like there's quite a bit to do up here. Buildings complete. Zero out of one. Lay foundation 640. We have to lay 648 pavers or something out here? Dude! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be here a while. And then obviously she'd like all of these trees, apart from this one, all of these trees in this little, like, outlined area, she would like all of them removed. So let's grab our chainsaw. That's not the right button for that. Oh, we have the axe. The chainsaw really hasn't been a thing? I could have swore we had this. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of the axe. Who knows? Who cares? Let's get some of these trees chopped down. There's one. Timber, looking good. And now for the second one. A little bit skinnier, but it seems like it's... Seems like it's gonna take the same time to chop. And this guy over here. Is it just three of them? Yeah. Cut down three trees. Gotcha. Timber again. Okay, and then... Before, I was gonna say, before they would just kind of disappear on their own... Um, but now we're going to have to actually remove the tree trunks. There we go. All right. Our tablet's not being super helpful with this whole building thing. Is it raining now as well? It's it's actually started to rain. There's like hot air balloons or something off in the distance too. I'm getting distracted, dude. I'm getting distracted. Gotta love when that ADD, ACDC, ADHD, whatever the heck it is, kicks in. Oh, and it's it's already done raining. Okay, that was short-lived. So back here, I was kind of thinking that plot one was that area we were just in in the front yard, but it looks like looks like this is actually going to be it. So let's grab a fence. 
I think a black fence could look could look nice. Oh, this this has got to go all the way over there, but we can scroll to change the size. It's looking like this is going to be as long as it can possibly get. Place another one down right there. We're almost done. We are almost done with this sucker already. We just need to get these two connected. It's a little tricky to get them placed down exactly where you want them. But it doesn't need to be exact at the end of the day. It's just a fence, right? And there we go. Okay, perfect. Butts up right next to uh, the original fence line there. I'd say that is a job well done. There isn't a gate, though. So maybe, just maybe, we could add one of those in here. Wait a minute. It's that easy? We don't, like, have to delete the original fence or anything? We can just add these in wherever? Okay, so let's be smart about this, then. And we'll put the gate right in the middle of that, um that door from her house right so that way she could she could just walk out from her kitchen dining room area and go straight into her uh her horse corral we'll call it i don't really know anything about horses you guys i don't really know anything about farming either uh, but we're here we're doing it we're making it happen next then she just wants a, a few obstacles for her horses to actually jump over we could get kind of funky with the color scheme or we could do old reliable just sort of a black and white color scheme let's just do that i think that'll look i think that'll look the nicest anyways so yeah again i don't know anything about horses so apologies to all you people that like actually know how to ride a horse and and do obstacles and stuff with them good on you that i think that's super sick i've never done it so i'm probably not going to set this up properly but i'll try to do the very best i can we've got two of those Okay, we'll just kind of have the horses running around in a circle, I suppose, right? Should be fine. Got some lower jumps. Let's maybe put... Let's put two jumps pretty close. It's an obstacle course, right? It's supposed to be a little challenging. We'll put those two low jumps kind of close. They're going to cut right again. And we'll have two more. Also lower jumps. Right along the back side of the fence. We could put one at an angle, too. I guess we don't have to have them all, you know, perfect out here. We do one maybe maybe like that. That looks kind of realistic, maybe. Can't say I've ever even seen, like, a horse obstacle course. I don't even know if that's what you'd really call them. Let's go with Coarse Dark Oak, though, for these, um, for these water troughs here. We'll put one over here and then do one just on the opposite side of the gate. And I think that's actually it for this for this area in the backyard. The real challenge here though is gonna be is gonna be the front yard. Because again, like our tablet was giving us zero information on how to actually complete this thing. But maybe now that we finish the backyard, it'll tell us it'll tell us a little more about it. Or not. Or not. Building. 0%. Wait a minute. I understand now. I still don't understand what button I'm supposed to push to get this tool out. This is what they want. I get it. I get it. It makes total sense. So we just need to drag this out to right about there. Looks good. Double click on this guy. And then drag this one out all the way over here. Did she say what this was going to be? Is this like where her horses are actually going to gonna live that should be it though right we can hit e to complete the building it'll lay the foundation build the walls for us and it should add a ceiling in there as well that is a very very big big area new skill point wait what dude i totally forgot about that check this out architect tool uh fastest brick layer scrooge mcbrick and miracle worker you can design interior walls, build outbuildings cheaper by 10%, or build outbuildings 10% faster. Okay, let's do let's do cheaper. Or should we do design? Cheaper. Cheaper is better. Not that we're concerned with money, you know, we're we're kind of killing it still, but that's fine. Something we didn't check out in the previous episode that I just kind of assumed was a thing is our ability to change the look of those buildings that we're able to build now. So, I'm going to try T 
to match the same brick that's on her house. I feel like this is pretty close. And then we need tiling and paneling. Got you. Oh, that's right. There's another, there's another update to this. And that is you can now tile multiple walls at once. That's got to be the same brick. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. Oh my God, dude. Tiling used to suck. Tiling used to be so bad. Like, I honestly, I stayed away from a lot of different tile options just because it took a really long time to actually get them installed. This brick looks like wavy too, does it not? Am I tripping? No, this looks, this looks the same. Okay, I, I think we made the right choice. Almost, almost made it to the end. We're just a, a few shy and it started raining again. So that's, that's nice. Um, I, I tried to do that, like having my mini map and everything hidden. Hopefully you guys caught that anyways, but it made it, it made it a little bit more difficult than I was in, than I was intending. There's our thing. Jesus, I'm losing it. I am losing it already. But it was challenging because I, a lot of the time I didn't even know how many like panels I had left in my hand to install on the wall. But let's see what we're gonna do next. We've got some sliding gates. Those are gonna be installed. Okay, I don't hate the look of these, but I don't really dig the, dig the brown on it. Let's see, or the gold, that's just super ugly. Let's get rid of that straight away. Coarse dark oak, right? Old reliable. You just can't beat it, you guys. Well, you could, but we all know that would be weird. Look at that first one installed. That's looking great. Ooh, and there's a... That's actually very helpful. That's very, very helpful. A ghost outline of the horse stables inside. Because once again, I don't really know anything about horses or the stables that they live in, you know? There we be. Got both of those installed, dude. That's looking good. That is looking very good. Okay, there's one more. Maybe we have to do that from the inside. Is that a window? These are gonna be a little different than the windows that are installed in her house currently. But I I think that they'll end up looking okay. See from the outside. See, I like that. I just wish that it matched what she already has installed in her house. You know what I'm saying? It'll be fine though. It'll be fine. Maybe we'll be able to inspire her to get all her windows changed to something that looks a little bit more like that. But we've got two more spaces right there. Let's grab another one of these for this side. There we be. And then these two, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to adjust really quick as well. Just had to get all the colors changed around so they'd match the other windows. There's not enough room. What? Oh, is it because the door's open? If I close the door? If I close the door, it works. Okay. That's good to know. That is good to know because we've got one more of those things that we need to install right here. There we be. All right. Now we should be able to get these doors open back up. We can take a look at this bad boy from the front. It's going to look better, obviously, with the doors with those big barn doors closed, just because otherwise it'd be covering up a little bit of the front windows, but this is a pretty nice looking place. I gotta say, I'm liking it. Okay, uh, now that we've got that done though, let's actually move on to the floor tile next. Wait, this? This is what she wants in here? Okay. All right, the customer is always right, right? The customer is always right. If she thinks this is gonna look good in here, then by golly, we'll make it look good in here. 
I mean, it's shiny. It's got that going for it. It's definitely shiny. Let's move on now to the stables, though. Once again, coarse dark oak, of course. And then this pillar is going underground. Excuse me? Okay, maybe maybe we can't install the pillars first or something. Let's let's try something larger, something like this. I have a feeling that this might actually be the nicest horse stable in the entire world. Plain and simple. We've got one more to be placed right there. That's looking good. Oh no, dude, my robo vacuum just decided to go off. I got to I got to go shut that off. Let me let me finish this first. And I'll go do that. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Yeah, that thing um, kind of just goes off early in the morning. And usually, I'm not recording this early. But we've got stuff to do. We've got farms to flip, ladies and gents. Wait a minute. What? Why is there... Why does it say that there's one missing? Do we need to... Excuse me? Did I not place this one properly? Maybe we just need to... Move it back or something? I can't pick it up, can I? Oh, yes, I can. We just need to move it back into the ghost outline a little bit more. All right. Now, for the middle pieces, and then hopefully after we finish this, those pillars will actually, uh, you know, like, let us place them down or whatever. Nope. Turns out they're still being dumb. Oh, wait a minute. You, you place them from the top. I see. So they're to be placed from the ceiling. Got you. Okay, that doesn't necessarily make sense to me. But it's done. They're all in place. Oh, and we've actually got a little bit more still. Okay, some horse mats. Different decorations. Nice, nice, nice. Light switches as well, which will be nice. Because uh, this area is very, very dark. Got those installed. Where are the lights, though? Oh, these ones. I tried to place a light inside of each stable, but I didn't want it so far back to the point where it wouldn't illuminate any of this area. So, let's see if that actually worked. Honestly, it doesn't really illuminate all that much anyways, so should be fine. Let's move on now to the finishing touches, I believe. Just going to be a few decorations. Oh, saddle racks. That's kind of cool. See, didn't even know that this was a thing. You guys know I couldn't finish this job without first feeding and watering all of these horses that aren't actually here just yet. I do think I learned one thing about horses today, though, and that is they need two different types of feed. A hay, I would assume, and then whatever the heck we just dumped into there. So, that's cool. At least we learned something, right? At least we learned something. But we are all ready to complete this job once again for right around almost 11,000 bucks. And now we get to see some before and after. Love that, love that. Missing chainsaw, no idea where that thing ran off to and just like that we are back at home so i think that's probably where we're gonna wind things down at for today once again if you guys did enjoy please leave a like leave a comment help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys peace